Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before any of y'all haters wanna comment on this, I'm going to say it first. I know my face and my chest are two different colors, okay? I know that my hand and my chest are two different colors, okay? Your girl went to California. Your girl got burnt in the face and the hands because I decided I was going to pack sweaters and t-shirts. Why? I don't know. What I should have packed was some v-necks and tank tops, but I have no idea what I was thinking. Like I have like this kind of lingering preggy brain and it didn't click to me that like, hey, it's summertime in California, you should probably pack, you know, stuff that's not for PA weather, um, but it just completely eluded me. So unfortunately I did not tan evenly to which I will be correcting this within the next few days when it's really nice over here. Uh, because I, I just like, I don't know what's going on, but this, this can't stay, all right? So anyway, Today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you guys my absolute must-haves for a newborn, okay? And also discussing things that I did not use. If you guys have watched my quarantine baby hauls, I do have two videos up. If you guys did watch those, I listed a bunch of items that I have bought. Um, obviously the diapers I used, obviously the wipes I used, things like that. So um, I'm going to be basically kind of letting you guys know the items that I absolutely 100% recommend all moms have, as well as items that were absolutely useless to me that I ended up returning or giving away or just d d doing whatever with it, okay? So I'm gonna get started now. Um, let's start off with this. The pacifier. Uh, originally, I was not really up for giving my baby a pacifier just because my mom, having five kids, I've never seen any of my siblings or even myself use a pacifier. She's actually really kind of strongly against it. But after doing some research, I decided to invest in a pacifier specifically for my flight to California because I was reading about how when you know you climb up in altitude and the pressure changes it can cause some issues for your baby's ears so in order to basically combat that you want to give him a pacifier because that sucking motion is the equivalent of children or adults chewing gum it kind of helps your ears pop and relieve any sort of built-up pressure that's there so I did cave and invest in the pacifier but this has come in handy not just for flights but I drove back from California to Pennsylvania. It was the longest drive of my life. But I drove back and giving him the pacifier whenever he was fussy was an absolute lifesaver because sometimes he doesn't want milk. Sometimes he's already changed and he has absolutely everything he needs and he's just wanting to be fussy to be fussy. So I give him the pacifier and it calms him down. It helps him sleep. Whatever it is, uh, this has definitely been a huge lifesaver for me, especially if I do have to end up taking him to the doctor's office. I do have to wait a long time sometimes, so um, definitely investing in this. And I did do some extra research for the moms who are very wary about weaning their child off the pacifier. Like, what if he or she wants it all the time? Well, they actually sell a kit that um, helps them wean it off to which you can look it up online. It's just a pacifier weaning kit. So I'll be investing in that if Wolfpack ends up getting a little too attached to this, okay? So cannot live without this. I mean, I don't know how my mom did with five kids, but your girl has one and your girl ain't gonna live without a pacifier, okay? Okay. So item number two that I absolutely cannot live without is this disinfectant spray that my mom had gotten me from I think it was some market in Los Angeles but you can buy this online it's a sanitizer disinfectant spray antibacterial anti uh, antivirus it's colorless and it's odorless now as you guys know living in this absolutely crazy time right now um, there's a lot of fear and confusion due to COVID-19 now this is amazing because it's exactly that it's an antibacterial spray so I use this to spray his car seat because it's a safer babies it even has like a little baby emblem on there I use it to spray myself you can spray it on people because it has no odor no nothing no harsh chemicals I spray it on you know the shopping cart before I put them in there I, I just I, I carry this with me and spray it on everything and you know I don't know if it works or not I'm just like it's, it says it's a disinfectant spray I read the 
ingredients and all that stuff so i mean if it says or if it does what it says it's supposed to do then this is definitely something that i would consider investing in especially if you are carrying around a baby and all that stuff just because you come in contact with so many people with so many items when you go out even just to the grocery store that i think this is something beneficial just to even spray your clothes with or your bag if you're carrying a purse you know to spray your car seat down before you put the child in whatever it is this is something that i have not been able to live without recently because anybody that comes to the door i'm just like you know don't hit my baby until i'm here it's um pretty crazy actually my family has deemed me the crazy mom but you know you can just you can never be too careful you know what i mean especially in this day and age you can never be too careful especially when it comes to your baby and your child so if that means i gotta spray you down with some disinfectant that cost me ten dollars a bottle then homegirl homeboy y'all getting disinfected and there's nothing you can do about it all right so that's item number two item number three that i absolutely cannot live without is this bottle warmer now if you're wondering why there's like fogginess and all that stuff in it there's actually still water in here because i'm so dedicated to giving you guys my list of must-haves i unplugged this from the wall and forgot to empty it before i brought it in here okay okay so i really like this one because it was super cheap the reviews on it were amazing i got it from amazon to which you can find the link for it if i forget to link it down below just because sometimes i do that you can find the full list on my first baby haul but i like this because it has like a baby food warmer it has like a keep warm setting um it's good for sterilizing your bottle if you just kind of throw that in here and then it has a quick oil temp thing to get your bottle warm so if your baby's incessantly crying just like mine does all the time during the night um it will heat up your bottle in like two minutes i mean this thing is an absolute lifesaver just because i'm not one to use the microwave i know some moms do but i've always been engraved ingrained in my head that it's bad so i just can't get that out of my head so i, I always wait for the bottle warmer okay so and it's nice because the cord is super long too so you know the reach on this is just absolutely amazing so if you guys are looking for a nice cheap bottle warmer i think this only cost me like 18 bucks definitely check this out i got it on amazon so so yeah okay invest in that anyway just gonna pretend like that didn't happen move my camera back just a little bit okay i will get that lid later item number four that i absolutely cannot live without is the swaddle these swaddles i mean at first i was like so hesitant for my mom to buy me this because i'm like why do i need three pieces of cloth for $25 like that is such a ripoff like I really just did not understand the whole concept of a swaddle until my baby got here okay because the nurse when I had given birth gave me a really 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 good advice saying babies like to basically be coddled you know and swaddled you know they you just kind of wrap this around your baby make it a little snug so that their arms are tight against their body and then their legs are like kind of inward and everything because that's what they're used to in your room uh, in your womb they're used to being in this really tight sort of sack, you know, in fetal position that when they're born, if you kind of mimic that position, it really helps them fall asleep and it really helps them remain calm. So I tried it out. I took these very expensive swaddles that my mom bought me and I wrapped them up, put a picture up here. Isn't he really cute? Hey, my baby. And I could not believe how quickly he would just fall asleep how quickly he would stop crying i mean he was so easy to transport from room to room at that point because he's absolutely like you know he's like a worm like he's like in a like a little straight jacket type of thing you know he's not kicking and punching everywhere trying to get out of my arms so this thing is absolutely amazing they're a little pricey but to be honest with you definitely 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 invest in a swaddle because if you um kind of recreate that womb you know the placenta it does wonders for your baby when calming them down when helping them you know stop crying whatever it is so definitely invest in some swaddles okay the next item that i absolutely cannot live without are these glass even flow bottles now i ordered these off of amazon just because i couldn't seem to find them in stores anywhere but i've always wanted to opt for glass bottles 
why I have no idea okay I just wanted glass bottles I just knew it there was just something in the back of my mind I think I watched something a really long time ago before I was even pregnant about why this lady preferred glass bottles over plastic and for some reason it kind of stuck with me so I was always on the hunt for glass bottles so I absolutely love this um, contrary to popular belief they do not shatter when you drop them I have dropped these babies like 80 times and not a single shatter and I have hardwood floors and everything I love the fact that I can boil them in a pot on the stove when I want to sterilize multiples at once and the plastic doesn't melt nothing is BPA free no plastic so I just absolutely 100% love these plus they look a little bougie you know what I mean like just like this like whole crystal looking thing um, I just really really like the glass bottles okay but I would definitely recommend getting it because it is a little heavy duty uh, if you do want plastic bottles even flow does make this but in plastic so oh and it comes in two different colors teal or clear so you could probably invest in that but this is my absolute favorite okay next item that I can't live without is this cute little sort of sound project nursery noise maker I think the box said but basically if you turn it on um, it mimics a heartbeat and they also have music um, but I really like it because it helps keep my baby calm in times where I have to leave the room and I just kind of have like the monitor set up whatever uh, he likes the heartbeat the best I've noticed so I try to keep that on for him and I think it's because you know babies being inside of you they're used to listening to your heartbeat so this has been amazing I just hang it near his little crib thingy when he's going to sleep and um, honestly like he'll stay asleep for a few hours and I kind of tested it out when I didn't have any noise or anything like that he would wake up a lot quicker so I tried to kind of leave something on for him, um, this being my definite go-to. So try to get something that will, I guess, create like this, this um, ambiance for him, you know, because if you're out in the other room doing other stuff, clanking, cluttering things, he might wake up or he or she might wake up. So um, invest in one of these babies, okay? Next item that I can't live without, my baby dove. I don't know what it is about baby dove, it smells good oh my god it smells so good and it's really good for my baby skin now I tried a couple different other brands I tried Johnson & Johnson and Avino and I don't know what it is but my baby just really didn't like it I guess uh, his skin got kind of red and things like that but I switched over to baby dove at first I used the baby dove sensitive but um, then I just got the regular baby dove I actually returned the sensitive and got this one because the sensitive kind of smelled weird to me I don't know if it was just me but it just smelled weird so i got the regular baby dove and it works phenomenally for him uh he loves it and i think it's just because he loves baths honestly but after he goes um and gets a fresh bath he will actually just go to sleep afterwards i mean like he will just stay knocked they also have a nighttime version that i use for him before i put him to bed and it really just he sleeps through the night sometimes and it's wonderful if not he usually sleeps four to five hours before waking up so it, it's it's amazing but i definitely recommend baby dove because it is affordable compared to some of the other brands i've seen and um i just really like how it smells and i like how it makes my baby feel if that makes sense because the other soaps oh gosh like it just made his skin like more red and it was really concerning so definitely stick with baby dove okay um I watched the commercials on these and like it does protect like this I think it was a microderm uh, on the baby's skin and la 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 you guys can look it up and research it. it's just it, it, they say it's good for your baby that's all I know okay and next uh, this sort of baby grooming kit comes in handy it comes with a brush it comes with like a little mirror it comes with a snot sucker it comes with a thermometer, it comes with clip, uh, you know, like nail clippers and all that stuff. Um, and it comes with like a little uh, medicine sort of administerer. 
So I really like this because it literally comes with everything that you could possibly need for your baby. And I do like the American Red Cross. So I have used this multiple times and I like that it comes in a little bag. So it's super portable. I could just stick it in my diaper bag if I'm going somewhere for a long period of time. It's good to have on you just in case. I mean, you never know. Uh, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it so i definitely recommend this because it was only about 18 dollars. i got it from walmart it was perfect um so definitely like has everything you could possibly need for your baby at such a great price and um definitely i would definitely recommend for new moms out there instead of buying each individual item you know the the amount could really rack up so get that because it's really affordable like i said the carry case is really cute and it just you will use the items in there trust me you will use it okay next item that i absolutely love and cannot live without is i don't know why this is inside out why did i put this inside out is this nursing scarf i think yeah it was a nursing scarf so I used this, I bought it for the plane ride because I kind of put this over my head and wore it and had him underneath it. The material is breathable. So if you ladies or, you know, or even fathers are going out somewhere and you just want to cover your baby, this is absolutely amazing, um, especially during this whole pandemic -y time to carry your baby in because like I said, it's a, it's a breathable mesh. It's made for like covering while you're breastfeeding but it's perfect for me if i have to bring him somewhere i just put this on and i have him you know basically underneath it like more most of the time he's sleeping uh, but for the most part like you know he's perfectly covered if people do come near me like i feel a little safer because there's something over him and all that uh, it also does fit over the car seat which is absolutely amazing so i like it because it's super stretchy the material is very very soft and I cannot believe I did not buy this when he was born. I actually bought this, I wanna say about three weeks ago. So I have been using this for absolutely everything. So you seriously guys, invest in one of these, especially during these times of just panic with COVID-19. Because like I said, if you're bringing your baby anywhere, like this is absolutely perfect to cover him with without having to put a mask on him or anything, okay? So invest. Next item. That I absolutely love is this baby changing pad that I ordered on Amazon and it has like this little mesh case underneath which when I go out I will tend to put diapers in it um, other than that I like that it has like this little pillow built into it that I could put his head on this material is waterproof which I did wash it when I when I first got it with you know a hose and some soap outside and let it sun dry and it dried so quickly because a lot of the water just kind of rolled off um, and it does have this little front zipper area to which I'll actually stick my phone in there um, just because I do clip it to the outside of my backpack because it comes with a clip so I absolutely love this it was about ten dollars but it's it's so handy when you guys go anywhere or even if you don't want to change him in like let's say a restaurant bathroom or if you're driving somewhere and you just need to pull over like this is perfect to just lay on your back seat and just change him right then and there because if he or she does end up tinkling all over it it wipes up with a baby wipe like that i mean absolutely amazing waterproof it's nice and big but it's also foldable that you can just tuck it somewhere so last item that i absolutely cannot live without is this one like 100 percent amazing adorable diaper bag with a built-in bottle warmer might i add that my mom had got me all right now you do need a power bank to sort of clip into the wire on the inside in order for the bottle warmer to work and I'm not gonna lie, it does take a little bit of time. I would say it takes about maybe 25 minutes for the bottle to actually heat up. So if you're pretty good with knowing when your baby wants to eat and kind of guessing like, okay, you know, so-and-so is gonna wake up in X amount of time, so let me put the bottle on it now. Uh, this is a very perfect option for you guys, but it's very chic, I really like it. And it's very portable because it's small, but it's also super roomy um, because, you know, you can just open it up and fit so much stuff in here and it's just got zippers on zippers on zippers and pockets on pockets so i really do like this uh it was only 30 bucks 
on Amazon, of course, you know, and it comes with like bottle holders that are insulated. So this is absolutely something that I love because I am not the type of person that likes to use duffel bags uh, or tote bags just because I prefer to have something that I can, ha I can have on my back. Um, I've always been very, very, very particular to backpacks when it comes to going to the gym, just using as, you know, uh, my personal purse, per se. I just always opt to take a backpack, so this was an amazing option for me. I also do like that it has handles up on the top as well, just in case I need to carry it that way. So, um, if you guys are looking for something that's small, portable, but fits a lot of stuff in it, as well as being chic looking with a built-in bottle warmer, this on Amazon, $30, okay? Definitely best than it. They have a lot of different colors. They have a lot of different options. If you wanna go for something a little more expensive, something a little cheaper, just type in diaper bag backpack and the possibilities are endless. Okay, but definitely one of my favorite things because I can fit five different outfits, my nursing cover, my diaper pad, I fit 10 diapers in here, one thing of wipes, I fit two bottles with an ice pack, my wallet, uh, my car keys, like I, I, and I have plenty of room to spare, so definitely best in a backpack. Okay, so that's basically it for the items that I absolutely 100% cannot live without when it comes to my baby. Next, I'm going to be talking about some of the items that I found to be kind of absolutely useless that I ended up returning. So like I said, if you did watch my baby haul videos, I do have two of them. There are a few items that I thought I was absolutely going to love, but actually ended up returning because it just, I had no use for it. So number one is the Lavana Oma Sense, which I thought was going to come in handy because a lot of new parents that I see invest in like a smart sock to monitor their babies or they invest in something to just monitor heart rate or breathing or whatever it is and to be honest um I'm all for the sock it is a little pricey but I decided to go with the Lovana Oma Sons because it was gifted to me and well I got a gift card and then I bought it but same difference either way I kind of never really used it because since day one he came home he's never rolled over uh, there were never any issues to be honest either I was awake or my partner was awake and I have um, my sister and my dad as well somebody was usually always awake to kind of monitor him and to check him but as a baby he just slept so much and so peacefully and he was such a good baby that I ended up never really having to open it or use it or anything so it just kind of sat perfectly in its package um, I did use it like before I got him like just to test it out like I did try it uh, and it does work but it's not as powerful as I thought it was going to be but I don't know it just wasn't something that I ended up using um, because you're supposed to clip it into the front of his diaper and then it's supposed to monitor you know his breathing so it feels his stomach going up and down as he breathes and if it stops if he stops breathing it's supposed to go off but um, I don't know, I just never really needed to use it because somebody was really always up with the baby. I mean, he was always up two, three hours anyway, and if he wasn't, I was always checking on him, so it was just something that was, um, not needed. So I ended up returning it and getting my gift card back to which I just bought more diapers and more wipes. So that was something that I thought was going to come in handy, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm just different from other moms but I just don't think I need a monitor for him in any way because he's just he's absolutely perfect so um, not that would, of course you know don't want to jinx that but yeah I, I definitely returned that which you know was pretty good because it cost me $130 so I didn't want it just sitting around collecting dust and um, I didn't really have anybody else to give it to because I didn't know anybody else that could use it so yeah that was something that I definitely returned um, another thing that I ended up not using at all were the baby towels. So I did get these baby towels for him and I'm not gonna lie, the material felt a little weird to me, but I used it one time on him and it was not effective in getting him dry, one. Uh, two, they're like microfiber material, so when I put them into the wash, they attracted every fuzz that just was everywhere i mean in the laundry like i mean if i put black socks in there this towel would have black fuzzies all over it 
and it just I don't know like just it didn't feel right it looked dirty after I took it out of the laundry um, it just oh god I, I can't even explain it so I ended up just kind of putting those towels away um, these these weird microfiber towels and I ended up actually um, just using regular grown-up towels for him because I think it ended up drying him a little bit better and stuff uh, and it, honestly it was way bigger because my baby is tall he's now two feet long so it worked better when it came for me to like wrap him and all that stuff so um, there was that uh, number three that I didn't use that I thought I was going to use is the washcloths for when he takes a bath I found it more effective to just kind of use my hands to be honest because the washcloths were a little harsh I did get them from Walmart and I noticed uh, no matter how much I tried to scrub him with it the material of the washcloth was a little more rough than I wanted it to be now it could just be because my baby has sensitive skin but I ended up just not using the washcloths whatsoever I actually put them away somewhere tucked away somewhere in my closet because he just didn't really respond very well to it so decided not to use that anymore um it was completely useless to me so i'm like okay whatever like i don't care um next item that i thought i was going to use way more than i actually did was the glider uh now that is this is a smart connect deluxe fisher price glider that i had bought for 160 dollars and i want to say he used it for maybe three weeks not even i mean this baby does not enjoy the glider whatsoever and i figured because it rocks side to side he would really enjoy it but no this this baby would prefer to be very stationary on a bed or in somebody's arms he is not a fan of the glider whatsoever so after about three weeks i and and i only put him in it like maybe a couple times in those three weeks like i want to say maybe a handful of times he just does not seem to enjoy the glider whatsoever so that kind of sucked because i did pay 160 for it but you know if baby don't like it i don't put baby in it okay that's just how i feel about it so it's just been kind of sitting in my living room um also collecting dust because you know he, he doesn't react very well to it when i put him in it he gets so frustrated that he'll start kicking and he'll start screaming so he's nine weeks now he has not used the glider in about six weeks just because I don't know what it is but this boy do not want it he, he wants no part of it whatsoever so I'll probably gift it to somebody that I know if they're having a child or I'll probably put it on the Facebook marketplace whatever it is I don't know what I'm doing with it yet but um, he's getting to the point where he's a little bit too chunky to sit in it anyway because it does have a weight limit and he is very fast approaching that so um, I'll, I'll definitely do something with that so i don't use it at all anymore i haven't used it so I, all right you know so next and last i do not use the tummy time mat that was gifted to me i tried to use it with him once or twice but number one he's just too long for it uh his feet definitely stick over it and he ends up kind of like kicking so much that there's no point on me of me putting him on it because he just kind of when i like prop the bear up like the bear head he just knocks it down um and the little toys that it comes with he does not engage with them at all when i do do tummy time i have like like this nice faux rug on my floor it's very comfortable to sit on he actually prefers to lay on that instead or my bed but when i put him on the tummy time mat i mean it's just a disaster like he's kind of hanging off of it or like i said he's knocking things over he's not paying attention to anything um the material of it is kind of slick so when he is trying to push himself up i notice like his hands will slip out in front of him so i've decided to kind of put that away not use that and just keep him on the bed and keep him on the rug because i think the friction from his socks kind of help you know push him up and i keep the socks on his hands still because he tends to scratch himself like i don't know what this boy's problem is with just just scratching himself but he will he just loves it i mean he just loves like <laughs> And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? You're scratching yourself. But I don't know. He, he loves touching his face. So I keep the socks on him to prevent scratch marks. So uh, the fabric is definitely a better material for him to kind of start pushing himself up on. So, I mean, it sucks because, you know, it was a really nice gift and I thought it was really cute. But 
I just don't use it so I'm probably going to end up putting that in its box and either donating it or giving it to somebody I know as well so that's basically it for my list of things that were completely useless to me during my baby's first couple weeks of birth all right so I would love to hear you guys down in the comments letting me know what were your essential items that you absolutely could not live without and what were some items that you bought that were just absolutely useless to you because um, I think it's interesting that every mom's journey is so different because each baby has a different personality or just has different needs so I would love to hear you guys letting me know um, what your baby loved and what your baby didn't love okay so thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel sorry I rambled so much um, I try not to do that, but I don't know. I just, I guess I like hearing the sound of my own voice. What can I say? <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Remember, um, if you check out my last video, today is July 20th. I'm doing a giveaway until the end of the month. Okay, so you have until the end of the month to enter for this giveaway. So make sure you watch my previous video and make sure you sign up for that for your chance to win these special items and if you want to know what they are you're just gonna have to watch the video and find out okay and make sure you subscribe to me because i do giveaways every 15th of the month and i always announce the winner on the last day of the month okay I'm trying to give back to you, my fellow beautiful mamas out there what i can okay but like i said i'm not rich so it's not like extravagant giveaways but you know it's it's as much as i can give out so uh, make sure you guys keep an eye for those and everything. So, mwah, love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time.